watching. This webinar, folks, is going to be next Wednesday, April 15th. Uh, it's going to be a two-part webinar. It's going to be live all day long. The first part's going to start at 9 a.m. Uh, you're going to go 9 to noon, get, you know, of course, 9 to 9.30, you're getting ready for the market open. I will walk you through uh, what was uh, going on, of course, uh, overnight, getting ready for the market open. And then the second part, you have a little lunch, and then the second part, uh, 1 to 4. And then uh, there's going to be a follow-through from 4 to 4.30 for everything that you learn. Check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? What's going on is we're having in one day kind of market that you would get in two, three weeks in normal times, isn't no, it? No doubt, man. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> it's a market, which, man. Holy which, cow. Which, which for me, of course, is perfect because uh, looking at the in intraday charts, patterns repeat. They, they, they um, really call fractals. So these fractals are little miniature, it's like little um, snowflakes. So they repeat over and over and over. They have the same, <clears throat> excuse me, formula. They make either cup formations or arch formations, straight lines. <clears throat> so we'll be able to follow this throughout the day. And because I love it, as you can see, I've got a, a Dow daily chart, a weekly chart, and a monthly chart. Those same time frames could be done in miniature. In other words, we could do it during the day. And if we're using two-minute charts, five-minute charts, ten-minute charts, it's like having a daily, weekly, monthly so that all the patterns we're looking at in the two, just like if you remember when we went along from a subscribers to opening call, went along the dollar back in April of 2018. Yes. I thought, I said, well, we'll have to see how it works on the daily basis. Eventually, the, the dollar was really strong and it helped the weekly chart. <clears throat> that weekly chart started to improve a lot. And that over, over the period of time, <clears throat> I'm opening it up right now. Start to form. There's this cup formation, and start to form a, a, a channel, a rising channel line. We're we always looking for the fourth highest peak, peak D. Every time it got to the peak D, it pulled back to the base of the channel line. I'm going to teach all these things about how to draw channel lines, how to how to look at a pattern and see if you can make uh, go from a short-term trade to a position to something that's really long term. And we are still in the dollar from 90.07 back in April. It's already at 102.99. It's pulling back. It's consolidating. It's at 99.99. We've only taken a little bit off from the original position. Uh, so this is this is looking at monthly. This goes back from 2018 right here to where we are currently. So look at the long time that this has been a position. And yet at the same time, I was showing charts in my show today, and I'll be showing my, in my show uh, the Tiger Technician's Hour, noon till 1 p.m. every day, uh, right up until we go into the webinar a week from tomorrow. I'll be showing in uh, microcosm exactly what we're looking at. This morning, I showed the two-minute chart. There was a peak D. We pulled back. Uh, this red line shows you that you could have been short all the way through. Even now, it's still a little bit weak. I'll show how these patterns work. Look at the 10-minute chart. So let's just imagine that was the daily chart. This would have been the the uh, monthly chart as a 10-minute chart. And look, there's that peak D. We're always looking for that fourth highest peak. And there's a very interesting thing. Looking at this chart, you can see, I, some people might not have noticed, but many of us are really are looking at the markets intensely. Uh, Sunday night. That was an incredible move up, just right from the open. Uh, the, you gapped up, and the market just kept going high. I'm just trying to find it right here. Um, there it is. So here's this, here's, the, here's this line. You see this pink line? Once you break yes. above it, that pink line doesn't mean anything. You don't even need the pink line. You, you were looking at everything else. And I'm going to show something very interesting. You can see I'm usually talking about the MACD, how strong it is or how weak it is. But there are times where the moving average convergence divergence actually pulls back, while at the same time the price goes up. And you say, wait a minute, how can that happen? Well, I have some techniques that I will be showing and demonstrating live uh, during, the, during the day that we're, we're on to show you that you can use other techniques, very simple techniques. Uh, once again, you got a D, pull back. I talk about the rectangle. The rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this. This rectangle patient, uh, um, pattern went from 210 on the 6th at uh, 2586 in the E-mini, and it only broke out 
at 10 o'clock, at 12 hours later. So, you know, we're looking at patterns that repeat over and over. And uh, look how interesting. You see this pink line? Doesn't mean a thing. You know, you can, yeah. I know Larry, Larry Persevent always talks about moving averages because, of course, he's got his own techniques. He never uses moving averages. But look at this. This pink means nothing until what happens? Just a few minutes ago, we go right back to it. So since Sunday night, count every 10-minute bar since Sunday night, it breaks above this pink line, moving average. And what does it do right now as we're talking? Uh, the S&P is now up 17 after being up uh, 95 or more earlier on, and now it's testing this line for the second time. So these are te very simple techniques. Uh, and also, um, anyone who's coming to the uh, to the webinar uh, will get my daily newsletter, my opening call newsletter. And that newsletter, I mean, we've got a number of positions on, and they're all up very nicely. Some are up really 10, 12, 13 percent at this particular time. Uh, and we, we managed to get in on uh, March the 23rd, which was the, the market low. We actually bought calls, option calls on the Dow. Um, right on that day. And those option calls have taken some off at 200% gain. Today, I said, take something off again today. It was, uh, sorry, we took something off at 300%, and today we took off at 400% gain. And we're keeping some because the April 17th options. So uh, now we can let them ride and see if we can get even higher. So these are techniques that are we use all the time. I demonstrate them in my newsletter every day. Um, put them into practice, and this will be what's nice about doing something live is that you know when you look back and you do something that's prepared, you look back and you can never be wrong because you say, look, there's the low, there's the high, but when you're in the middle of it, you have to say, wait a minute, where's it going? Intraday, what techniques yeah. are you, you know, right. what techniques are you using? Where will we be in 10 minutes, 50, whatever it is, or a day? Yeah. So these are all the techniques that we learn. Um, I teach them as we go. There's, the, you know, I talk about the cup formation. Uh, this could turn into an arch formation if there's a failure here. So far, we're looking at the cup position. And I, I, I drew this the other day. I showed you there's a lowercase h pattern come down sharply. That's the straight line. There's the arch formation. Well, if this starts to fail, the two fighting patterns. One's the cup. One's the arch. And at this point, the uh, cup pattern is is leading the charge. And that's how we go. And then we look at the weekly chart. 200 period moving average, orange moving average at 23,900 for the Dow. What was the high today? 23,617. Who would think March the 23rd that today we're up at the 23,000? Uh, 600 level. And so these are techniques we'll be teaching. And folks, it's so easy to get in the workshop. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Uh, the course is 395. Included, however, is Basil's newsletter, which is 128. And if you get the newsletter now, the newsletter is going to be free for the next uh, following month, folks. Basil, thanks so much. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis excellent.